Hey guys, today we're going to look at the Blender 2.9 user interface for 2D animation. Um, as a default, Blender defaults to a 3D scene. Um, when you launch Blender, you, you'll see this um, splash screen and you can choose what scene, what type of file you want. Uh, but if you just click off of it, that splash screen goes away and you, you'll have a, a general 3D scene uh, with a camera, a light, and a cube. But we're not gonna create a 3D scene, we're gonna create a 2D animation. So what I'd like to do is go up to the file, up to the file menu, and create a new file, and pick 2D animation here in the new I'm not gonna save this 3D scene, so don't save. And, and there it is. There is our new 2D um, scene from Blender. And it seems like it's a whole new different program. Um, it's just rearranged for your convenience, but it's still the same scene. And in fact, it, it is still a 3D scene. If I rotate the scene, I can see that it is a fully functional 3D environment, but it if I hit the uh, camera view, which is which is the zero key on the numpad, uh, it you just get uh, this blank canvas so that you can start drawing. Okay, um, so the, to navigate the scene, middle mouse. Oh, let me turn on my uh, screencast keys. Uh, and you'll see what I click on um, the the uh, you'll see what I click on over here on the bottom left hand side of your screen um, so that you can keep up with what I'm clicking on my mouse and and the keyboard shortcuts but navigation to rotate the scene you click on the middle mouse button now before I even go any further if you don't have a mouse and if you're working off of a laptop and you don't have a mouse, uh, we need to emulate that three button mouse. And if you don't have a numpad, a number pad on your keyboard, or you, if you don't have an extended keyboard and you're still working off that laptop, you can still emulate that numpad on the side of the keyboard. Um, so let's go to edit, preferences. These are the Blender preferences. Go to the Input tab on the left, and you can click Emulate Numpad and Emulate Three Button Mouse, and then click here to save your um, preferences. So uh, if you don't have an extended keyboard, and if you don't have a three button mouse, you need to turn these on. Now I'm gonna turn them off because I, I happen to have a keyboard and a mouse. So I'm just gonna leave those off for myself. But that way you can, uh, when I say click on the middle mouse button, um, it is the scroll wheel on your, on your mouse, but it acts as a middle mouse button. So I'm gonna click on the scroll wheel down and I can rotate my scene. I can rotate my scene. Now I can get back to the camera view by clicking the zero on the numpad, and it gives me back to my camera view. Now, let me just draw something real quick. Um, <clears throat> I'm just clicking on the mouse, the left mouse button, and Notice that I, if I click down on, click down on the middle mouse button and rotate it, again, it is a fully, it is a fully functioning 3D scene. But when you click on the zero in the numpad, it goes back to a 2D scene. Again, to rotate the scene, middle mouse button and then just click and hold on the middle mouse button, you can rotate the scene. 
zero to get you back to the camera view. To move the scene, you hold down the shift, click on the middle mouse button, and then you can move the scene uh, up or down, right to left. So if you zoom in, you can move around um, with the shift middle mouse button. And you can see my keyboard strokes and my mouse button presses down here on the bottom left. Now, to, to scroll in and out, use the scroll wheel. Use the scroll wheel um, to scroll, zoom in and out. Zoom in, zoom out, scroll wheel. You can also zoom in and out if you hit the control key and middle mouse button. Scroll, I mean control and middle mouse button. I'm not, I'm not scrolling on the wheel. I just pressed and hold the, the middle mouse button. So we'll start at the top. At the top is the menu bar. Underneath the menu bar is the tool settings or the tool properties. Uh, and right underneath the tool properties is the uh, work modes. We've got object mode and its tools. Uh, edit mode, sculpt mode, notice the tools change, draw mode, and then vertex paint and weight paint. So we're going to stick to draw, we're just going to draw for now. So these are the work modes and then these are your tools. This is the toolbox. Um, underneath the toolbox um, at the bottom of the screen is your timeline. Although this is not Technically a timeline, this is a dope sheet, but it's going to serve as our timeline for now. Uh, we've got uh, the layers here and then the keyframes here and the, and the keyframes and the frames, the, the play control buttons. And then over here at the, uh, on the right is the start and end frames. To the right of that, all of this is the properties panel. And all of these are properties for this scene. Uh, you have several different property icons for the scene. Um, and then if you want to find the layers, you have to go to the stroke properties. And then you'll find the layers panel here. Um, and then what's on top of the properties panel is the outliner. And the outliner is just an outline. You can see an outline uh, of all the objects in your scene. Right now, we just have a stroke object and the camera. That's all we have for now. Um, and that's all I'm going to cover for now, guys. Uh, very, very simple, and it's cool. And we're going to draw uh, a 2D scene in the next video. Um, again, just briefly main menu, tool settings, work modes, tools, the toolbox, timeline, which is really a dope sheet, uh, and then the properties, and then the, um, the um, outliner. And again, if you want the layers, you click on the object properties for the stroke, and the layers are in here. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.